to wire in the power and the motor to the variable frequency drive, we must first identify the uh, power input connections. On this particular drive, the input is labeled as L1, L2, and L3, or R, S, and T on the variable frequency drive. The power inputs are located on the first three terminals. We wire in the three terminals. The drive can support single phase input power, but the drive will need to be derated to provide for single phase power input. Once the power is terminated, pull down snugly just to verify everything is tight. The motor are listed as T1, T2, and T3 terminals. On this size drive, those terminals are the three terminals on the far right of the power terminal strip. So we wire in T1, T2, and T3. These terminals are also listed as U, V, and W. Again, a variable frequency drive will only support a three-phase motor.